Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't mind my makeup. I just got the James Charles palette today, so I tried his look. It's terrible, I know. Don't come for me. But point is, I tried. Same thing as what I've been doing for the past week. I decided that since I am now home from school and it's off season, I play club hockey in college. I'm terrible. This is not me trying to be like, oh my god, I'm an athlete. I'm bad. But I do think that if I can gain more stamina and speed in running, then I will be able to be better at sports like hockey. Plus, maybe I'll lose some weight, which might also help with hockey. That's not really the goal. The goal is really to just stay in shape or get into better shape. So I have been making a TikTok every day. So I will insert those, which gives more of an in-depth detail of the day. For the first week, I started out last Friday running the mile. Currently don't have the stamina or the ability to run the full mile. I mean, especially the first time I ran because I'd never run before. Besides like warm-ups for hockey or when I play softball in high school, I'd never actually run a full mile. So I start out running, then I walk, then I run again, then I walk, and then I usually end on like a run if I don't have cramps. If I have cramps, then I walk out the last part. Every day I've been able to run further from where like I start, start at my house. Clearly my stamina is getting better and my time is a lot better. So I started out with a 16 minute and five second mile. I believe today, unfortunately, the place that I ran was under construction. So instead of having a small hill, which is not as hard to run or walk up, I had to go up the, like the really, really steep hill. So I gained a minute of my time. So I was at 14.25 today, I believe. And whereas yesterday, I had ran it in 13 minutes and four seconds. Clearly, I am getting better. Unfortunately, with the construction, I'm gonna find another route so I don't have to go up the giant hill and my time doesn't have to suffer for it. But honestly, the big hill might make it a better workout. So I might just stick with the big hill and then hope I can get to the big hill quicker <laughs> and my time will go down again. That's just how the first week has gone. It's definitely hard to actually get out there and run every day because, you know, I am still in school. But I don't think I've noticed any like weight changes really. But I've noticed, if nothing else, my positivity about running and athletics is a lot better. I don't hate it. as I still hate it. I started out the first TikTok by saying, I'm a firm believer that there's no reason to run unless you are being chased. Still stand by it. But it is a good workout. And it'll help get me ready for when or if we do go back in the fall so I can play. So that's my week one update. Yeah, I've run a couple times with Nick. He was actually in track, so he's used to just running full out the whole time. So I don't think he really enjoys running with me because I can't go the full time. But it, it definitely helps me go faster and push myself harder. So I think I might start doing that more with him. But yeah, that's my first week update. I'll check back in again next week. You know, we'll see what happens in the journey. I did record my weight at the start of this. I'm not going to say what my weight was because I just don't think it's any of your business, but I will say the change that I've seen. Like if I lost weight, hopefully I do, but if not, that would be weird. But I'll say like the amount of weight I lost doing this every day, but I'm never going to say my actual weight because I just, I don't really want to put that out there. And also of course tell you the time. One thing that I will let you guys know in the TikToks that you'll see after this is the app that I use does show the amount of calories lost. Um, so if that's a problem for you to watch or to see like calories and numbers and all that, because I know that, that can be like triggering to some people, I would just suggest to either A, don't watch this video or B, just skip past the TikToks because I don't want it to alarm any of you. Um, but yeah, so let's take this journey. Hello everyone, my name's Sydney and I'm a firm believer that there's no reason to run unless you are being chased. However, I'm going to be running a mile every day for 31 days because May. After that terrible transition, I made my bed and then I put on my sneakers. And yeah, and then I put in my AirPods because you can't go for a run without listening to music, everyone knows that. So I started my run and I was feeling pretty good. And then I ended in, in 16 minutes, which you know isn't very good, but it was my first time running and I'm just proud that I finished it. So. All right, so today I will be doing my workout with Nick, and I just got his hair. Doesn't it look good? What do you think? So since we were going with the dog, we didn't actually get to run, because as you can see right now, he will run maybe five feet, and then he finds something that he wants to sniff. So it wasn't a great workout. Oopsies. 
Um, our time was 26 minutes and we only did half a mile, but with a dog, you know, that's all you can get. But obviously stay hydrated, have some nice fruit. Welcome to day three of me running a mile for every day for 31 days because May. I started out my morning by editing a video of me cutting Nick's hair that will be uploaded this Thursday to our YouTube channel. Go watch it. Then I had breakfast and said hi to my puppy. Then I did another horrible transition into my running clothes and, you know, put in the AirPods because everyone knows can't go running without listening to music. There's me feeling good, and then there's me after feeling dead. But my time was really good. However, I did have to go inside and have a huge glass of water because hydrate or dehydrate, am I right? I improved my time by 31 seconds, and I was really proud of myself, so, you know, go me. Alright guys, welcome back to day 4 of 31 of me running a mile every day for 31 days. I just want to make sure everyone knows I'm not doing this to just change how I look, change my weight, or anything like that. If that happens, that's great, but I'm really just doing it to stay active during my off-season. I haven't been stretching the other days and I started to hurt after so I actually decided to stretch today even though I have no bounce when it was fell over but then I put in my airpods because you know you can't go running without music. This was me after the run. My time was really good. I was really proud of myself. I shaved off a minute but I felt dead. But today my time was 14 minutes and 23 seconds so I'm really proud of myself. Yeah. Welcome back to day 5 of 31 of me running a mile every day for 31 days because May. Today I woke up and I really did not want to go for a run, but you know what? I said, no. You said you were going to do it. You told TikTok you would do it, so you got to do it. Um, unfortunately, the place where I usually run had like a lot of construction, so I couldn't go for a run there. So I just ran around the block, which wasn't a full mile, so I decided to go inside um, after I ran around the block and do some more exercises and work out a little bit more. 5-4 from New Jersey, here she comes, Sydney Shrek. Running one mile every day for 31 days because May. I'm sorry, John Cena. So today I started out walking with my mom because, she, you know, she getting her in her fitness too. And I got burnt. Don't mind my boobs, but I got burnt. And this is a visual representation of me saying peace out to my mom because I started running and left her behind. Anyways, my time was exactly the same. For what is up guys, day 7 out of 31 of me running a mile every day for 31 days. Today, instead, I walked 2 miles because I was with the dog and kind of wanted to make it up. We found this cool, um, this like giant piece of grass that had like a walk around it. And then if you can see behind me, there's like a dog park, which I didn't even know was in my town. So that's cool. And then I just danced it out because we were waiting for my dad because Hudson refused to turn around and walk home, which is why we walked 2 miles straight. And he did not want to walk the two miles back. So this is us going to run after my dad because he did not see us. So we had to go run and catch up to him. And this is the chaotic energy of my dog almost running into the street. And then we're home. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to come back next week to see how my second week of running a mile every day went. So far, feeling good. Hopefully I'll still feel good next week if not you know you'll find out i think for our channel what we're going to be doing is every thursday nick and i are going to be uploading videos like the ones that we did about me straightening his hair me cutting his hair him doing my makeup next we have me doing his makeup since we did hit 200 subscribers thank you so much by the way and then whatever day this video is uploaded i believe i'm going to upload it on monday it will be like every month i will start a new challenge for either workouts or like just trying learning a new skill could be learning to play an instrument maybe i mean i have a recorder i also have a trombone maybe that will eventually be one thing but i know for this month it's going to be running mile every day of course and then next month i'm going to be doing chloe ting's uh two week ab shred i believe it's called um i'm gonna do that twice so i'll have a full month of it and then after that i believe i will either want to try like some sort of pilates or yoga i'm not quite sure yet I haven't looked that far into the future but this will be something easy that i can keep up while i'm at college um, thank you guys again for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.